So I saw Barbie yesterday and I was surprised by how good this movie was. I was expecting this movie to be like ironically fun. Like I would have a good time and the movie would like low key be ass. This movie was, it was just really good. I genuinely enjoyed it. I would say this is the most fun I've had in a theater since maybe Endgame, which is a wild thing to say, especially having seen across the Spider-Verse the day before it came out. But this movie was just, hilarious i don't think it lets you go more than like two minutes without a solid real laugh i enjoyed this movie but before we get too far into that i will say that this review is going to be assuming that you have seen at least the trailer of this film other than that it will be entirely spoiler free this movie is good if you are not a sexist uh shouldn't be hard for most of you i know some of you might have a challenge with that you know it's, it's really hard to just realize that women are also people, but we actually try to do that here on HighHeLowKey.com. I actually had two people in the theater leave when they mentioned the patriarchy. I think they mentioned, they mentioned it a couple times and it's mostly taken in stride, but like the, the dude next to me literally like hit his seat in anger when they made a joke about the, the patriarchy. It was, it was ridiculous. The thing is about the patriarchy in this movie itself, this movie so clearly does not take place in the same world that we inhabit. And I know that sounds obvious because Barbie came to the real world and, and Barbie land is real, but I mean, no, like even in the real world, it's just a caricature of the real world. Just for a basic starter brand example, the Mattel board of CEOs, this is also in the trailer, it's entirely a group of white people and I think there's like one black dude. That's not what the Mattel board of CEOs looks like in real life. I think it is still mostly white people, but I do know for a fact that there is three women on it. There's none in the movie. And also, there's a joke about the Barbie Land Supreme Court, and I think they, they say something about, finally, Barbies have as much power in Barbie Land as men have in the real world. But th the joke is that the Barbie Land Supreme Court is made up entirely of females, but in the real world, we actually have two female Supreme Court executive justices. Like, it's not, it's not supposed to be the real world. You need to be able to have the media literacy to understand when this movie is actually taking a jab at men, and when it's just being stupid. This movie has some of the best comedic timing in any movie I have watched ever. Maybe number one spot. There's not a single joke that isn't timed perfectly. There are four Supreme Court Justice women, therefore. There's four? There's not three. There's four. Isn't there seven Supreme Court Justices? Nine, four women, the other guy. <laughs> That's my sexism, coach. That aside, the plot twist in this movie is something that I thoroughly enjoyed. This entire movie was absolutely hilarious, but the plot twist of it is, it comes in pretty early actually, and I think it is one of the best written things that I have seen in a theater in a while. Okay, best written is a bit of an exaggeration, but it was hilarious. It made sense in the context of the movie. The comedic timing in this movie is some of the best in any movie I have ever seen. There is not a time where a joke doesn't land just because it's exactly where it needs to be. They don't just shove comedy down your throat. They get where comedy is supposed to be. Supposed to? They get where comedy is supposed to be. This movie also has some of the best dramatic timing I've ever seen. There's not a single time in this movie where they undercut a dramatic moment by just having something comedic happen immediately after. And I'm a bit of an MCU fan, so maybe that's just what I'm used to, but thank God they didn't do it in this movie. I think it happens once very close to the end of the film, but it was still hilarious when they did it and it didn't take away from what just happened. This movie will let you sit and think about what just happened before it moves on and it can be really hard at times because this movie just gets it gets brutally heart-wrenching at certain moments this movie has an all-star cast so i don't really feel like i need to touch on the acting too much but margot robbie gave a really really good performance i actually would consider it to be oscar worthy ryan gosling and will ferrell were amazing as uh supporting actors they were hilarious ryan gosling i mentioned comedic timing earlier he knows comedic timing. Ryan Gosling is probably one of the most talented actors out there, and I don't think we give him enough credit at times. Will Ferrell's character is probably one of my favorites, and I think that's because he's not as one-dimensional as you might think he is. I mean, he's still one-dimensional, but he's not as one-dimensional as you think he is. Actually, just all the major antagonists in this movie are funny as hell. 
there is one major antagonist that is just overall hilarious. I'll, I'll put a little thing on screen for the people who have seen the movie. The movie is also really campy. This movie knows when to take itself seriously versus this is Barbie in the real world. It's not that deep. It really knows how to switch gears to being just absolutely ridiculous and then being a movie where you can understand and feel what the characters are feeling at any given moment. Well, I guess I shouldn't say the characters because the only character who really gets especially fleshed out is Barbie and kind of Ken. Matter of fact, there are two protagonists in this movie who I won't touch on much due to spoiler reasons, but they go massively underdeveloped. The relationship between them is just not very convincing and it doesn't really get developed. There's like one moment where these two characters have a, oh, I understand you now moment. And it's kind of stupid, but I think that this movie kind of focuses on Barbie because it's the Barbie movie. So I feel like if I'm complaining about the other characters who aren't Barbie too much, I may be missing the point. But some of the other characters of this movie just felt like background characters. Like they almost felt like an entire afterthought, even if they had 20 to 30 minutes of screen time. Another gripe I have with this movie is the third act climax is kind of cringe. There are parts of it that are funny, but the dialogue dialogue in it is is it's just kind of not good at times like some of it is really funny but some of it's just like kind of eye roll worthy like is this really what we're doing it's not bad it's a little cringe inducing and quite hammy but i feel like i'm not the target audience at the same time maybe it's just not for me i've never experienced the things that they are talking about and i've also never been the one they're talking about so i'm kind of just this circle that exists outside of what's even happening in the movie so i guess i can't talk about it too much but if you're making a movie i, I also do feel like you kind of need to be able to explain what you're talking about the third act resolutions also run for a really long time there's like four of them there's like four of them for every character individually and i think barbie gets like three of them it wasn't bad but i kept thinking to myself oh the movie's almost over now and then it kind of just kept going like i liked it but it was also like a, it ran a little long which is crazy to say because this was on the shorter end of movies we've gotten recently it was only an hour and 54 minutes and at the same time i was thinking to myself oh okay the movie's ending now and it kind of just did it i think the last major criticism that i have for this film is the messages can kind of also become a little murky ultimately this movie has a very very strong feminist message that is not surprising and i appreciate what they tried to do but the movie tries to switch gears between funny and being entirely serious a little too often which is something that i actually praised it for a little earlier in this video but at certain times it can become a little confusing where that line is blurred most specifically what i'm referencing is that this movie wants men and women to be treated almost entirely equally but it kind of pushes the ken characters to the back and i feel like i'm gonna sound like an incel saying this but there's literally a line where they say that they don't even know where the kens live and by the end of the movie it's not even resolved and i wouldn't have mentioned that if that line wasn't in the third act when everything is being resolved this movie has messages of men and women are equal and then it kind of switches to be yourself and then the Ken's message is kind of somewhat unclear. I think it makes a lot of sense, but I'm wondering in the grand scheme of the movie what it even meant. I do like the message, but I feel like the movie could have maybe conveyed it a little more clearly rather than kind of leaving it vague. I think vagueness can be good, but if you're going to be vague, you need to push the audience in the right direction so they don't misinterpret your message and think you're saying something stupid. Once again, admittedly, I'm not the target audience for this movie, and maybe I just lack media literacy, but I don't know, some of the messages just kind of get murky in the end of them because of how much they kind of seem to come out of nowhere with them. The movie takes a lot of jabs at the existence of the patriarchy, but does nothing to resolve the fact that Barbie Land is in fact a matriarchy. In fact, it's a major theme of the movie, and they kind of just don't touch on that. Like, once again, I'm not trying to sound like an incel when I say this, I'm trying to review this as an objective movie, but it does sound like the women who wrote this movie are just being like, oh, it's cool when we do it. I once again reference the fact that the Barbie Supreme Court is entirely made up of women and when it's referenced by a man they just kind of brush it off and i will also once again reference maybe that's just a joke but i feel like if you're blurring the lines that much and i can't tell 
I don't know. But I do really like the message that this movie gave. I think that young woman, older woman, I think just women in general are really going to love this. But I'm going to say it one last time and for the last time, I'm not the target audience. I cannot fully understand and probably will never fully understand what this movie was trying to convey. But I still really had a great time with it. So finally, to close out this review, I will give the Barbie movie a 7 out of 10 on the critical score. I didn't care for the pacing in the first act. It kind of came out of nowhere. I think it was really funny and comedically timed, but I feel like there should have been a little more build up to it. I also think some of the characters were underdeveloped. And once again, my main gripes with the message of the movie being unclear do bring the score down just a little. But for the fun score, I'm giving this movie a 10. It was it was hilarious. I fucking I, I, I loved this movie. It was it was fantastic. I genuinely want to go see this movie again in theaters. And I know that probably doesn't sound like much because people do go see movies twice in theaters. I am not a person who does that or typically enjoys doing it due to the money it costs. There are two movies I have ever gone to see in theaters twice, Endgame and Across the Spider-Verse. The fact that Barbie is on this list is kind of insane to me. I think if you like movies, go watch this movie. I think if you like Ben Shapiro, don't watch this movie.